This is Liam Gallagher, everybody. All right. Buzzing, mate. Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Where did it all go wrong with no split band up? <laughs> How has it been? This, I mean, did you ever expect a week, a 10 days, a couple of weeks, a fortnight, like you're in the middle of now? Yeah, no, it's, well, no. I'm more excited about City winning the league more than Deb with for any of that other stuff. But, you know, what a precursor. And the album. What yeah. album? I mean, come Bothered. on. No, but seriously, you know, it's like the star, the stars have aligned for you before. Yeah. But never like, I don't yeah. think anyway, never like the no, last No, no, it's exciting times. City winning the league album coming out. Got these gigs at the Etihad and Nebworth and I, oh, good, man. Life is good, man. And that's why there'll be sh there shall be no complaining from me. Now, I've, I've watched the uh, the Rockfield documentary, which is awesome on Sky. Mm. Um, and in that, you did say you were going to tone down and dial up. So tone down ahead of Nebworth and Etihad and yeah. the, the, the big gigs. Yeah. Uh, what may not be so great for your new professionalism. Right. Uh, and dial up what might be. However, that's just gone a little bit yeah. pear no, no, that didn't happen. I was doing well until... Well, I was doing well until the West Ham game, and then I kicked off because we <laughs> didn't win it. And then it was the following game against Villa when we won it. Um, yeah, you got to have a drink when you win the league, aren't you? You know what I mean? So, but so now I've got to get my head together very quick. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm glad, in a sense, we're not in the Champions League, and that's not me. I mean, for me, I'm glad we're not because the Etihad gig would be off. I'm probably never with because I'd still be in Palace having it. But you see, so, I mean, 1st of June uh, on Wednesday, the fact that you're playing the Etihad sold out before yeah, Nebworth, back yeah. to back, sold out. It's a good warm up gig, man. You know, in the year of your 50th. But it's going to be like a double celebration on Wednesday, isn't it? For, for everybody going because of the footy, because of life in general, lockdown, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. No, it would have been a bit, I mean, it still would have been amazing if, you know, but it would have been a bit down like, if we got beat. But, um, no, it's going to be top, man. And um, that's why you've got to look after yourself and stay away from the nutters. And um, until, until the last night in Nebworth. I was going to say... Um, but then you say that, I say that, I said, oh, I'm going to get big, man. The last night in Nebworth, I'm going to get big. Just, I think I've had my big nights, you know what I mean? Wow. Like, you, like You think you're going to get so big and it's going to be the biggest party ever. And you have a couple of drinks and it's like, fucking go to bed, man. Please don't swear. I know. Uh, it's never, so never say never, though. Uh, no, so, no, I'll give it a good go. So... Because, you know, watching Rockfield, and, you know, the, the, without getting too nerdy and technical about it, but your register, you know, vocally, you're up there all the time, aren't you? That's, that's, how you, that's how you work. You give it all the beans all the time, pretty much always at the top of the register. How, how's that going to be? So you got, you're going to go massive on Wednesday? No, I'm not going massive. No, I'm, I'm scarping. <laughs> no, no, to do the gig Wednesday. No, but the gig, from a gig point of view, I'm talking oh, yeah, about yeah, on yeah, well, it's, yeah, I hear a lot of people go, oh, you know, he sings, he screams and shouts and all that. So call it. You've got the records for all the beautiful bits, you know what I mean? But when you've got Marshall guitars behind you and a drum kit and then you've got loads of people in front of you singing and that, you know what I mean? There's only one way in and it's a two-footed challenge, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you've just got to get above the clouds and go for it. There's no time to be sitting there using whatever it is, your diam, what is that word? Diaphragm. All that nonsense, just singing like a little angel. That goes out the window. you just got to sing like a lunatic until it's done. And, That's the um, way it is for me anyway. And, and will all this, will all the set list be the same uh, for, for all the gigs or are you going to chop and change? No, I'm not going to change it because it's a good set list, man. So it's like 10 Oasis... Five new songs, maybe four and um, six, you know, like some of the, of the other solo stuff. But I just think you start changing it, you know, people sort of just give them the old, give people the old experience, you know what I mean? You'll get one person going, Oh, I didn't hear that one, so I can't be doing with the whinging, man. Right, so so Friday, your mum's going to be at Nebworth. You talked about she, this already. Yeah, she's coming because she wasn't at the last the last ones and that. Obviously, my kids weren't there, so they're going to be there. And so it's going to be nice, man, but I'll keep my head down for that one, get home. Back to the old cell and have a chill, and then the next night, get on it. <laughs> I still want to be there on Saturday. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll come. Uh, I've got to come. i got to yeah. come. I wasn't going to come. I've no, got to come, man. I'm going to tell my wife. There's nowhere else to come. be, man. I mean, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Right? It's going to be big, man. Okay, it's going to be awesome. Um, where will your mum watch Friday from? Where will she be? Uh, well, she'd, uh, she'll probably be at the side of the stage, man, because if she goes out the front, I think I guess, guess she'd get my and she's getting old now and that, but... I might even get her on anyway, see what's going down. But you never know, man. She's once she gets a little bit of brandy in her man, she you know you know what I mean? She could be down the front, man, poking. I remember once I clipped me, I had a clean at this house. And we'd done Wembley Stadium and um I looked up and the cleaner's coming across the housekeeper. He's coming across the uh the barrier. 
Hey, Liam! Liam, Mr. Gallagher, you sound so good! And she'd, then she'd fall down in the barrier, run back round and keep doing that. And I'm going, like, she's better fucking put the dishwasher <laughs> on, man. But yeah, so who knows? Your man might just go for it. And um, will you will you take her home? Will you yeah, the escort first, her home? Yeah, man, me and Debbie will be behaving ourselves on uh, the first night, so we'll get straight off back to the hotel, have breakfast with her the next morning, get her on the train sharpishly, and then uh, and we're back down there. But, you know, even just from the adrenaline, even if you don't go for it, and I believe you, well, I really do, on yeah, the, well, the Friday. I'll give it a go, man. Yeah, you'll give it a you know, you'll we, give it a... Without a doubt, man. A I've, I've got my Guinness all set up and that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'll be getting Oh, stuck. let's get into that. I was going to ask you about that. Because yeah, in, the, in the doco, um, there's, it's lager all the way. It's cleansing uh, cleansing lager. Yeah. You know, and I have, I have a range. I like a range. Yeah. Uh, but Guinness is the go-to, is it? Uh, not all the time. I mean, it's if one or the other, the lager and Guinness. I don't really drink wine and I'll drink it if it's there and that, like the end of the night and that. And... Um, Vodkas and all that stuff, but it's either lager or Guinness, depending on the temperature outside. <laughs> if it's really hot, it's lager. If it's if it's mild and there's a few clouds in, then it's Guinness. You know what I mean? You can't be drink can't be drinking Guinness when it's scorching. Because wine is all about room temperature. You see, your face is all about festival temperature. Exactly. <clears throat> I love it. Um, in in the uh, Rockfield documentary, by the way, if you've not seen it. But I put a little bit of port as well in my Guinness. Yeah. To really kick it off. Guinness and black ever? Yeah, man. Black velvet ever? You can't ever. walk after that. If you need to get to A to B pretty sharpish, get the port in there and the, you're done. Oh, interesting. Yeah, when man. When did that first happen? I don't know, but the Irish don't like it, man. It's blasphemy, in it? And that, but I don't know, I was just drinking it one day, so I would have a bit of that port in there. So I put it in and it was like, all hell broke loose, man. Um, you, said, you said to me off the air about the filming of 48 Hours at Rockfield Studios, um, which is awesome. It really got me in the mood for this morning. I had to be so right. careful. I I've not s- seen it. Oh, it's, really, it not, it oh it's really good. You, got, you, you wouldn't be disappointed with it. It flies by. Kids are great in it. Band's great in it. Band are on it, man. Yeah, man. Yeah? Yeah, I um, so. For people who don't know what Rockfield Studios are, what are they and when did you first, when did you first see them? Well, the Rockfield Studios in Wales, Monmouth, and um, loads of bands, the Queen and all that stuff, Led Zeppelin, I think, maybe. The Roses have done their stuff down there and Oasis done Morning Glory. You know, whenever that was. 27 years ago. Yeah, 27 years ago. And it was it's a good studio. I mean, to be fair, I don't remember much about the studios, man. I was sort of in and out. I'm sort of down the pub. And I always sound like a bit of a pisshead and that. But it was, you know what I mean? I'm not one for hanging about the studio. I sort of get in and do me bit. And then it's like, down out of the pub. You know what I mean? Have a good time. So going back there, everyone was going, oh, do you remember this? I'm like, I, I don't actually. <laughs> I, remember the, I remember the pub more. So because because you t- used to pitch up, you know, give it all the beans on the vocals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and the band, especially Noel, would stick around. And then they'd stick around and make the music. And I'm not, obviously, I don't play any instruments, so there's no really main, you know, there's no reason for me. I mean, I mean I'd hang about a little bit, depending, you know, but, you know, you can't listen to Noel all day doing his riffs and stuff, thinking he's slashing that. I'm like, ah, look, man, if he ain't got this in 10 minutes, I'm going to the pub. And normally it'd be there all day, so it's different, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's like if, if I play instrument, I'd be there helping out or, you know, getting into it. But me and Bonehead, Bonehead would just get his down really quick and, that, and we'd just be off in the cars, man, that had a boozer. So that, that was then and this is now. Same pub, though, same landlord? Same I think it's... No, it was a different pub that we was in this time. Was and that, it? But um, no, them pubs in Monmouth were well good. We had a good time, man. And the album was... I mean, we split up when we did that album and then we got back together again. But no, good time. That's how it should be these days. You know what I mean? It should be. But one of my favourite songs of yours is Once, which is just such a great song because yeah. it's so true, isn't it? You know, you can have that, but you can only have it once. And the thing is, you know, in the future, um, you look back and you think, well, that can't happen again. But at the time, you don't even think about it anyhow because you're in the moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just want to, yeah, you're just having such a good time. You, you, you ain't got the energy for it to happen again. You just want it just to all explode after that and be done. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you've got to go and do it again. So it, this is the reason why we're doing Nebworth. I'm doing it because the people want it. I'm not doing it because I want it. You know what I mean? I've done it. You know what I mean? But everyone seems to, uh, the young, the younger generation and the older generation, which ones are still about and that, they want it to happen. So if Noel's not doing it with Oasis, I'll do it on my own. I'm with a band. And you know they want it because you, you're very active. Um, you talk to the fans on a daily basis. Yeah. And I just, I've been off that. I've sort of not been on it for a week because I've, been a bit naughty early in the abuse at uh, the Liverpool fans and that's so all. I'm just letting them have a breather. But if they get beat tomorrow night, I'll be back on with vengeance, <laughs> man. <laughs> who, who do you honestly think is going to win tomorrow? Honestly? Uh, honestly, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, it's one of them, and they could fluke it. But Real Madrid, I want Real Madrid to win for sure, man. But um, 
if they win it, and if Liverpool win it, then they, you know they deserve it. You know what I mean? And fair play to them. When you when you interact with with the fans, because um, you do now have a sort of second coming of people who weren't even born yeah. for Oasis first time around. Yeah. How is that? You know, when did you first sort of sense that there was more than a sort of uh, a whisper of longing for, you know, Neb Nebworth 2, as it were? I guess when we'd done the first album, maybe, that went well. This solo stuff and that, and then the second one sort of went well again. It wasn't just a flash in the pan and that. So around about that time and, you know, and then maybe like, you know, on these anniversaries when Oasis, you know, put stuff out and that, like people were sort of just going, look, let's do Nebworth. And obviously they prefer it with Oasis and that, but these things are not meant to be sometimes. And that, so it's just me and that. And it'll be different, but there'll be Oasis songs, but it'll be, it'll be a different, it'll be a different Nebworth, but I still think it'll be amazing. Man. I think it is going to be amazing. It's going to be off the charts. And the weather looks like it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, man, hopefully. Um, would you would you sing a song for the Queen maybe next weekend? No, I, I ain't doing any of that. You, you like her, though, don't I you? I do like her, but not enough to sing <laughs> Serenade. Uh, no, a serenade. No, I'll, I'll give her a shout out and that for sure, man. She's top the Queen, and I might give it. A, I'll give it a. I'll give it a nod and that, but nah, I can't. Be you will doff the cap, but you won't tug the forelock. There you go. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, so you you said in the film, um, you know, you're a bit more professional nowadays, which I thought was a lies. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't think it was lies. I thought it was. I thought it was interesting. Is, is my honest um, response to it because uh, I know what you mean, um, but I also sort of disagree because it suggests that you once weren't. And I always think that you've been what is required of you for the role, which ultimately is being professional. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, I am definitely a little bit. I definitely take it a bit more serious than what I did. But I did back then. You know what I mean? But I guess when you're younger, you feel like you know you can. You can stay up a lot more nights and stuff and do things. So now it's like, it's a no-brainer, man. You can't be rolling into them gigs hungover, man. You've got to, um, you know, or not like, you know, been on the been on the pipes and stuff like that, smoking and shit like that, you know what I mean? Sorry for swearing. You can't be doing that. You've got to behave yourself the week before the gig, man, because you'll know about it if you've not behaved, you know what I mean? That first first three songs and that, if your voice ain't there, it's a long old night, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, I know. and plus people have paid the money and stuff like they did back then, but you, you can get away with it when you're younger because, I don't know, you just get away with it, but you get older, man, you've, you'll know about it, man, if you're not on top four, man. Yeah, but I think the thing is, you know, when you are younger, it is sort of your job to get away with it. That is yeah, but you do, your role. You, yeah, but you do just get away with it. It's just how it is, man. You just get away with it, you know what I mean? You get on there and you go... You know what I mean? That was I was rotten on that gig and that, but you just get away with it. These days, you don't get away with it as much, I don't think. Yeah, and the more nervous you are about maybe uh, you're not in the right condition for the gig, then the more tense you become, and it's yeah. just a downward spiral. Yeah, and plus you want to do it. You, 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 you want to put the best gig on, don't you? You know what I mean? So between now and Wednesday? Lockdown, man, lockdown. <laughs> I'm out of here, man, just running. You'll just see me running down the road going like, ah, ah, I got all sorts of it in the house, under the bed. <laughs> Doors on. locked. Do you know what? I, so, I sort of believe you. <laughs> it's true, man. It's true, man. I, that, that Sunday done me in, so I'm, I'm sort of getting back to, the, back to normal now. So no, it's... I'm not even watching the match tomorrow, man. I'm not even getting involved in the excitement. I'm just... I bet you do. I'm not, mate. What are you going to do instead, 8 o'clock tomorrow? Watch Emmerdale or something. <laughs> Reruns. What, what is it? What's the other one I've been watching recently? A cool, no, it's a cool. No, what is it? Uh, heartbeat. That's chilling me right out. Yeah, well, it was. <laughs> excuse, I would excuse the pun. <laughs> That's so how times have changed. Yeah, man. Um, so obviously, Gene and Lennon uh, feature in the Rockfield film. Mm. Um, brothers, sons. Mm. Uh, you talk about being a dad. You've talked about it before in other films that have been made over the last few years. Um, they both play. Yeah, Gene's, uh, Lennon's been out in Amsterdam doing it at a festival and he's just got back so he's you can imagine the state he's in and then Gene he's been uh, he's playing with us at the Etihad and then Nebworth so but he's um, yeah like I say he'll be out you know he only does a couple of tunes and that but um, he'll be out partying after the city match so after the city gig but he can get away with it see and you <laughs> would like them to maybe get together Oh, no, yeah, definitely. They're sort of having a standoff at the moment, you know what I mean? Gene's sort of got a band going, but they've not done any gigs yet. Lennon's definitely doing gigs, but I think it would be amazing, man. They're good guitarists as well, you know what I mean? Like, they're not just they're not just into it for the hobby, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're talented, man. They're a lot that talented than what I am, you know what I mean? And um, and they know their stuff and that, so... But 
plenty of time for it, man. Yeah, of course. But as brothers, you know, um, the shining example of their dad and their uncle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you still want them to get together. Yeah. How, how is their because, relationship compared to your, yours? No, they still, yeah, but we don't know unless they've been in a band. I guess they get on and that. You know what I mean? And they have little niggles and that. But me and our kid had some mega times. I'm not having just because we split up. That was only a little, a little bit. You know what I mean? If you're gonna, if you're gonna slice it all open into pieces and that, like. We, we, we got on night. We got eighty percent on eighty percent of the time. You know what I mean? It's just. But when we didn't get on, it was full on. So, so before Oasis happened, yeah. Um, what would you say this sort of uh, percentage well, we, of peace to war was compared to as brother? Brother, it happens with siblings, doesn't it? Of course, well, it does. Before we got in a band, you mean? Yeah. Well, we don't. We, no, I don't think we really seen much of each other. I mean, we just sort of brothers and that. But even in Oasis, we were got on. You know what I mean? Like you know, when we were in each other's pockets and that, we we had some good times. You know what I mean? It was like, and obviously with the booze and the drugs and stuff, and then the egos get involved, and then money gets involved. It's it's a recipe for disaster. So I think we held out pretty good. You know what I mean? But um, no, it was all right, man. Good. Did you uh, see him at all around the city game? No, I don't go to the city game. Right. Because it's you know he's he's too busy getting head butted off. Diaz's dad and that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I had a, a, a boot in as well. Just for people who don't know that story. Can so you... apparently he got, apparently when, I, when we scored the third goal and it was all going mad, Ruben Diaz, his uh, dad, come along and fell into him or head-butted him. But I, I'd have had to fucking put the, I'd, 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 have had to, I'd have had to put the boot in as well, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> you always talk about him with such fond affection. You do? No, of course, man, I love him, but he does me in him as well. Right. Because we shouldn't have split up and we should be making music. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? All that time wasted over just little bits, and people go, "Oh, you slagged his missus off. He slagged my miss." There was plenty of, it was plenty of back and forth. You know what I mean? So don't be making out it was just me. You know what I mean? And so um, there's plenty of stories I could tell you, mate, as well. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, it's a shame that we split up because there should have been, we should be making albums together. That said... I'm rock and roll bands splitting up over little bits <laughs> of crap like that. Sorry for swearing again. He's pathetic. So you know what I mean? It's you know, you split up because one of you dies or something, you know what I mean? You don't split up because he said this and she said that. Yeah, it's yeah, pathetic, yeah. isn't it? But that said, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be having the week you're having, the month you're having, no, the two no. albums out today, no, no, the no. year you're having. No. We are we are exactly where we're meant to be in life. No, but, well, you, 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 you are where you're meant to be, man. I'm not going to complain. It is what it is, you know what I mean? It's like... So it was obviously meant to be. When, um, if you think about this week... Yeah. And uh, the next month, let's let's say the next four, fortnight. So, week just gone, week coming, Man City included, Nebworth, Etihad, you know, going on Liverpool to Cardiff. Beat by Real Madrid. <laughs> that will just, that... With that topping off. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. <laughs> but if you... that, that, that lager and Guinness mixed together with the port in things going to taste good Saturday, mate. <laughs> and um, in your favourite field with your favourite people around right, you. Exactly. Uh, and Oasis back together. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Yeah, exactly. But, but all this in your 50th year. So, so if you can, what, what was the best couple of weeks? In Oasis, compared because this has to be your best solo couple of weeks without a doubt. So, so can you give us a sort of bookend comparison? I reckon Main Road, man. When we did Main Road, was amazing because it was our ground and all that, like our football team, and we hadn't really fought Nebworth. That was you know, that was not even in our psyche. You know what I mean? So Main Road, still living at my mum's when we did Main Road. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I remember going back to my mum's house the first night because I was behaving. And I could still hear Noel's guitars ringing from my bedroom, you know what I mean? Because we, you know, we lived around the corner from the city ground, not far anyway. So like, I remember being in my mum's bed, like in, a, in, a, in my bedroom, going like that. Ah, my ears ringing, but still hearing the guitars, you know what I mean? Feeling back, that was a good sign. And then obviously after the main road gigs, it, it, we went mental <laughs> and that. Thanks for that. So then we moved to London. And um, nah, moving to London was great as well, you know what I mean? Big city, lots of things to do. Camden. Camden, well, I moved. To, I didn't move to Camden. I didn't move to. Camden. I saw you in Camden. Right? You, you might saw me. I moved to St John's Wood, mate. <laughs> La di da. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> next to Paul Weller. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, no. London was great, man. Great. The drugs were great. Nineties was great. It was top. Best place to be. So cool. Um, tell us about uh, the pals you've decided to invite to your various gigs this summer. Pals. You know, on stage. Like Kasabian, et cetera. Oh, yeah, Kasabian, Fat White Family, they're, they're like my kids are into them and that, so I've never seen them and that, but I've heard they're a bit naughty and that. So they'll they'll bring the naughtiness and that. And um, I think there's a girl band called Goat Girl and there's a new band called The Pastels from Manchester who I like. And um, Paul and Tini and Michael and that. So um, 
It's a good one, man. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good collection. Thing. Everyone was going, oh, why don't you get the Charlatans, get all the old bands on that were there, but... I don't know about I that. said that, sorry about that. I no, there was a few of the people that say... Richard but, Ashcroft. Oh, that stuff. Yeah, but Richard, I would have got Richard on, but, you know, Richard made it clear to me once, you know, he's like, I ain't a support, I ain't a support act, and he ain't. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, we've done them gigs, we've done them gigs that we did and all that talk, and it's like, it's hard to ask Richard, you know what I mean, to go, do you want to come and support us again? Or, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah, you know what I mean? Right. I'd love to have Richard there, he's amazing. And so, he brings the vibe and that, but... He has to go on before, and you know what I mean. He does bring the vibe, doesn't he? Course, no question. He's a very special human yeah, being, amazing. that boy. Uh, so, so massive year. Um, is it a heavy burden? How does it feel? No, nah, be, not be easy, man. Yeah, easy. I know exactly who I am, and I know exactly who I'm not. So it's easy. It's a walk in the park, man. You just got, like I say, you just got to look after yourself, prepare right, and just leave it in the lap of God's man. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm raring to go. I'll go and do it right. Well, maybe tomorrow. What could possibly <laughs> go wrong? Oh, lots of things, I guess. <laughs> Everything, you know what I mean? I could go and get by a bus as I walk out of here or have an heart attack right now. But um, lots of things could go wrong, man. But fingers crossed, they don't. I don't think they will. I hope they don't. I pray they won't. Yeah. I really... For, for everyone's sake, you know, because it's, it's great. And also, you know, it's been mad, hasn't it? The last three, three four years, it's been absolutely bonkers. Bonkers. Yeah. It is what it is. The album... The album um, is in itself a lockdown baby, isn't it? It started. Is what? It was born in lockdown. Yeah, started off in um, yeah lockdown. Yeah, done a few tunes in the studio, and then uh, when the lockdown, when the when you could move about a bit more, Andrew, who would write the songs with, he'd come over from America, and we went to rack studios. And before you know it, we had the album done, sort of halfway through it. Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Is there anything? Because people are watching all over the world. Is there anything you want to get out there? Nothing, man. Nothing. You're all doing great. <laughs> What's the story? Liam's midlife glory. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> done, whatever, mate. All good, mate. Okay, you asked me about my running today. Um, yeah. What about yours? No running for me. No running, not yet. What, next, about, the, what next, about next year when I get me thing done and that, I'll be bombing about, man, having it. Which hips going first, left? What? Which hips being replaced first, ha having gone first, left or right? Uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't know which one's gone first. Actually, <laughs> they both think went at the same time. Um, but yeah. But I've had the injections now, so I'm buzzing. Yeah. Yeah, I had them the other week. So I'm feeling Thank good. You, feeling good. It's great to see you. And you, man. You are absolutely awesome. It's great Thank to. to I mean, did you ever think ten years ago? Did you ever? Could no, you ever conceive of I such a? I didn't. But you know what? It is what it is, man. Isn't it? It's like I'm not. It's, it's what it is. It's me. Not cured cancer, man. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just doing the gig, man. Um, so Wednesday yeah. in Manchester. What time will you set off from the hotel? Will it be a hotel? Do you have a house there? I don't know. So we're going up on a Tuesday, and uh, no, I haven't got an house in Manchester. No, so we'll be in an hotel. I'll just get there about half an hour before we go on, so I don't have to be like using this too much. You know what I mean? Like you get there all day, and everyone's asking you, and then you know questions and buzzing and all that, and you don't want to seem miserable. So I sort of just get there, have a brandy. And uh, warm my voice up, and then straight on, and let's see where we're at. Right. So, uh, so, so, fast forward to five days later, because it is going to be a Wednesday to, to Saturday. So, and then, got, so then we scarp back yeah. to old Wednesday, back home. Yeah. Thursday, back down to Nebworth. I'll do the same again. Get there about half an hour before we go on, in the helicopter. <laughs> you got. There's to plenty of things that could go wrong. Now I'm thinking about it. Do you know what I mean? Don't think about it too much. Uh, so we get there. Yeah. Yeah. Have another brandy. Do warm up, steam on. Right. Steam off. And is there, is there a venue um, already sorted for post Nebworth, say Sunday morning, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., or are you going to stay on the site? On no, site? we're going to stay on the site and that, have a bit of a party there and that. He might um, be there. Have he, he, you got pals coming? Yeah, I mean, everyone's going to be there. I mean, I don't know who, but everyone's coming. Yeah. And all the bands and stuff and that, and um, my family and that. But I've not been taking care of the, uh, the guests. There's someone else does it, and that. Um... Do you have that thing that you two do where they have they have one party? So they have a backstage party, after party. There's one after party, which is for like two or three hundred people, and right. they all think that's it. Those people. Right. And there's another one for friends right. and family, and then there's another one for the band. Do you have that sort of funnel of? I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not. A party's a party, isn't it? Yeah, you know what I mean? All that, <laughs> all that nipping about food that all like. Whatever. There was one. I hate. No, I'm not into that. You'd either that one or it's one or the other, but I will do that. And then I've got another. I've got a gig 
then five days after. So yeah. I can't go too mad, you know what I mean? Oh. Liam, fantastic to see you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, nice one, man. Congratulations on not just one album out, but two. Yeah, two. Awesome. Good, man. Nice one.